357 Magnum is a revolver cartridge that is .357 inches in diameter. It was based off of the 38 Special cartridge and the 357 Magnum truly started the Magnum era of handgun rounds. There's probably a lot of things you know about the 357 Magnum. What we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the 357 Magnum. Number one, primarily created by Elmer Keith with the help of Philip Sharp and D.B. Wesson. Elmer Keith was named the father of big bore handgunning and also was credited for the creation of the 44 Magnum as well as the 41 Magnum. Number two. Famous U.S. Marine Corps scout sniper Eric Roy England, who had 98 confirmed and many more unconfirmed during the Vietnam War. He had a very famous biography written called The Phantom of Fubai. There is an entire chapter dedicated to Elmer Keith, the creator of the 357 Magnum, based on his influence on long-range shooting ballistics. Number three, the 357 Magnum was developed in an effort to find a handgun round that would penetrate automobile cover during the post-World War I gangster era, a challenge at the time that proved very difficult for FBI and local police that only then the 38 Super would achieve. Number four, in order to increase popularity of this new round, among law enforcement, Smith & Wesson developed the bullet specifically to bring Philip Sharp who was leading technical development staff of the National Rifle Association. Number five, 357 Magnum based on the 38 Special only had the difference in the extension of the case by 1 8 inch. To get the power for the 357 Magnum, no case extension was necessary. The extension of the case was simply for safety reasons. Number six, 357 Magnum is also referred to as the 357 Smith & Wesson Magnum However, in Europe, they refer to this as the 9 by 33 millimeter. Number seven, the 357 was the very first Magnum round ever produced. And since then, there's been 20 different Magnum rounds produced from the 32 h &R Magnum to the 500 Magnum, as big as the 500 Wyoming Express. Number eight, the first 357 Magnum was referred to as the Smith & Wesson 357 registered Magnum, later on to be called the Model 27. Number nine, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover received the very first Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum revolver on April 8, 1935. This initial run of 1935 357 Magnum revolvers can fetch between $2,000 and $6,000. And finally, number 10, the FBI was the first to use the 357 registered Magnum However, it was my hometown, Kansas City Police, that was the very first police department to use it. And they used the model with a four inch barrel. And they used this to fight the organized crime syndicates in Kansas City, including names like Charles Carolla, Charles Benagia, and Tom Pendergast. One of the most famous gunfights found a Union Station in downtown Kansas City. So there you go. There's 10 things you probably didn't know about the 357 Magnum. I know there's a lot I did mention. If you have some things, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel through Patreon, our Patreon link is also below.